Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm going to tell you that right now. I just... I'm not really here to edit this video. I'm not here to... I'm not here to have high energy. I'm not here for none of that shit. Don't even worry about the bonnet that I got on my head, man. I'm just taking care of my hair. Um... Kind of just wanted to talk to y'all. Y'all mind if I game while I talk to y'all? I'm sure y'all don't care. I'm gonna I'm I'm just vibe out, play the game while I talk to y'all for a second. Um, kind of wanted to talk about like, sounds so cheesy, bro, but I kind of want to talk to y'all about like mental health for a minute because I'm gonna be real with y'all, having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I can uh I can laugh about it inside and outside, but I ain't gonna lie, this shit sucks. I don't get like this often. I have my moments where I just kinda like I don't wanna say I'm depressed, because I'm not depressed. I don't really to an extent I don't really believe in depression, at least for myself personally. I just I don't think I have much to be depressed about. So that's not something that ever that ever clicks in my brain. Uh I've just been bro, I've just been in a rut. That's the best way I can describe it. Where and I didn't realize it until well, I guess yesterday. It's it's one in the morning now, but I woke up around actually I didn't wake up. I actually was up all night just chilling. I recorded a video uh, a couple of days ago, the next total drama episode y'all will see that if, if not today then tomorrow i've been really trying to motivate myself to get back to posting because as y'all know y'all seen the channel posts have been super infrequent right and and i'm no i'm no fool to that i'm not gonna pretend like y'all don't see it i'm not gonna pretend as if that's not happening right but I just haven't been motivated, bro. Like, like I've had shit on my mind for the past few days now. Where there was there was that span where I went two weeks without recording or posting anything. I was fine then. I told y'all why I wasn't posting. It was just I had family over. I had other things that just kind of kept me out of the recording mode, like the mood to do it. This time around, bro. This past week. I just, I bro, I'm gonna be honest, as honest as I can be, because I feel like this is my platform. This is my ability to be whoever the fuck I want to be. Not that I'm not in real life, but on the internet. Uh, bro, I just haven't given a fuck about videos. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And, and every creative person goes through this, no matter what it is. Uh, I know some of y'all pay attention to like my personal shit. Some of y'all might know this that. I want to make short films. I want to make movies. I went to school for it until school and work and bills and all that got a little too overwhelming. So I just decided which of these do I not really need. And the way my family situation was, I couldn't afford not to work. And and even if my family was good, because there was a part, a part of my life where like for a year I didn't work and I just did school. And I felt like part of me was, like, lacking. I needed to, like, force myself not only into a routine, because school is that routine, but I needed to force myself to do things that were out of my control. My job's not really, like, in my control. I mean, everything that I do within my job is, but... I have very little control over what's asked of me. You know what I mean? When I go to school, everything that I want to do or that I can do or that I'm supposed to do is within my control. I could choose not to do my job in school and it doesn't really have an effect on me other than I might get dropped from this class. There's no real consequence because in reality, to make it in film, you don't need to go to school. There's plenty of YouTubers who've done it and succeeded. There's plenty of random people who just wanted to do it, who've done it and succeeded. So it's not something that 
it, it became a non-essential to, for me and I just never really cared after a certain point because I, I did the classes that I was taking in college I took in high school and it was just a rinse and repeat of everything that I already learned for the past four years and some people will tell you that do it anyway like just go through it you'll probably learn something new which is valid and I hear that but it got me to a point where for the longest time it was probably I, I went to school for maybe three or four semesters I can't remember at this point it's probably four semesters four and a half and I did I did four regular semesters and a summer semester that's what it was and uh and in those semesters, I wasn't doing it full time. So really, it was only like a couple classes a semester. Uh, I was doing like the bare minimum just to be to stay in school to get financial aid and like, you know, keep going through the, the motions. And it got to a point where I, I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was learning. I didn't feel like I was progressing as a person. And all of those things coupled in with you know, working and, you know, you got stuff going on at home, you got bills to take care of, you got people depending on you, whatever the case, right? It just gets too much. And at some point, something's got to give. And for me, that was school. I'm in that mode now where it's kind of the same thing. Just instead of school, I do YouTube as a hobby. And I don't get paid for this. And I don't, I don't really... I don't benefit from this in any way apart from personal gratification. This is this is strictly something that I wanted to do for me. And I figured, you know, if people enjoy it, if people are entertained, if people learn something, if people, you know, feel something or connect with something, then that's more than enough for me, right? Like, that's my entire goal with this channel. No matter what I do on YouTube or on social media or anything like that. Like my goal is not to be an influencer, but if that happens, fuck it, I'm gonna run with it. You know what I mean? And because of that, like I still have a life, right? Like I still have responsibilities. I have more responsibilities to it to a degree because now it's not me, you know, helping take care of my family. Now it's me fully taking care of myself and like bills are in my name leases i signed you know what i mean like like there's still things as an adult that i haven't achieved or accomplished yet and that fucking bothers me and i try not to worry about it too much because i'm the type of person where i have a a don't give a fuck mentality and that's a double-edged sword because sometimes it helps but sometimes it's really detrimental to my like mental health like sometimes i have to sit here and think about the bullshit and i have to stress about the quote unquote unimportant things or the things that people shouldn't care about that much because if i don't then that's when i like start to slip you know that's when things start to break down and that's when i can't handle it anymore if i'm in a position where i can handle everything and i'm doing so then i don't worry as much and i don't care what happens really because i'm good if i ever get to a point where i'm not good that I need to take a step back and reevaluate and recalibrate and, you know, move forward from there. I'm in that point now where nothing's really going bad, but I'm just mentally just, just, I'm checked out. You know what I mean? And I've had a couple of days where I've just been coasting. Uh, for that year that I wasn't working and I was primarily just doing schoolwork and I was just working and all that, I wasn't working, I wasn't doing anything like my physical health took a toll bad and i don't know the reason for it but i have an autoimmune disease and sometimes during specific points of the year like fucking clockwork i just i get really sick and it gets not impossible to manage but it's really fucking difficult and it takes all of my energy there are some days where i wake up in the morning and i physically cannot move like i physically can't get out of bed and it's a chore to get out of bed and it's a chore to get up eventually i ended up like gaining a, a, an extreme amount of weight that to this day i've yet to like 
get off and I actually have added to it because now I've gotten into this point of like complacency where I'm just stuck being how I am and that shit is 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 a whole other can of worms in itself where now I'm starting to look in the mirror and be like disgusted you know what I mean like it's just like oh my god and and, and it's so it's such a simple fix right like everybody says it just get up eat healthy go to the gym you know work out i have a gym i could go i literally live in an apartment complex with a nice gym and it's a it's literally a two minute walk i could just go hit the gym for 30 minutes an hour two hours whatever and just knock shit out and i just don't like i just i couldn't be bothered because i get into these mental ruts i'll have a day or two where I'm like, yeah, I'm super motivated. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. And maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I'll have the desire to. And then after a week or two of that, gone. And and I'm back to just being like, I don't really want to do anything. Like, I don't really, I don't want to get up in the morning. I don't want to go to work. I have to, so I do. That's the only reason why I go to work is because I don't have a choice now. And I, And I did that on purpose to get myself out of that bit of complacency. I don't want to be 100% complacent. It's bad enough that I'm already 25% or 50% or what have you. The one thing that I can never be complacent on is making money because I have bills to pay. And and I and I love that I forced myself into the deep end on that because if I didn't, I'd probably be a lot worse off. And and I don't want people the whole purpose of this video isn't to get people to worry about me or for people to feel bad about me. I don't really, I don't need sympathy. I don't need advice. I just need to vent. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know what I got to do and I'm going to. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know where, but I'm going to do it because I don't have a choice. The thing that I do want to say is this is primarily for my for my guys out there that watch this for women y'all can y'all can relate to this too to a degree but for men it's a little bit more taboo to talk about our feelings like talk about how not okay things are or to admit that we're fucked up to admit that things aren't going the way we want it to because as men we're supposed to have it figured out like that's that's what's expected of us and i and i and i always grew up where like, you just keep it pushing, no matter what the issue is, no matter what's going wrong, no matter what the problems might be, like, no matter how bad things might get, like, you just deal with it, and you just, you, you roll with the punches, and you just keep going, no matter what it is, and that's kind of how I've lived my life forever, and I've been through some shit, y'all, like, and I'm so good at not talking about the things that I've been through or the things that bother me or the things that I pretend don't affect me, but really fuck me up. And and some people will tell me, like, you know, I need therapy and shit like that. Me personally, that's just not a route that I want to take. My therapy is just honestly manning the fuck up and actually talking about it. And I don't need a therapist to do that. Some people do, and for those people, more power to you. I respect the fuck out of you for admitting that that's what you need and for taking the steps forward to go through with it. Because I, I don't know that I could. I, I don't know. I don't know that I would want to. And uh, the, the issues with me is I would, I'm the person where I would much rather roll with the punches, keep shit pushing and just deal with it, then let it all bottle up inside and then blow up over time. <laughs> I'm that type of person. Like I'd rather just explode with emotion than deal with it every day. And I'm trying to do better at talking about it. The problem is, bro, and, and I'm sure most most boys or men or or teenage boys or whatever, like whatever age you are as a guy, I'm sure y'all can attest that the more you openly talk about being fucked up or or something bothering you 
or you feeling sad or you feeling not okay today or whatever the case anything along those lines i'm sure the more you talk about it the more you start to feel like people perceive you differently the more you start to perceive yourself differently the more you start to feel like a bitch you start to feel like you're not man enough you start to feel like uh you should be better than that like you should be able to just deal with it and not cry not be a burden not do all these things and bro we gotta stop with that shit and i hate that that's a stigma that we have in in society now where like that's an actual like mindset that if we're men and we talk about our feelings like we risk like being looked at differently or judged for feeling and i know that's not the case with everybody but it feels like it is and and a feeling of being ostracized is, is already bad in itself than to actually be ostracized. And I have been in the past. And that's kind of why I'm the way that I am. Or I feel like nobody listens. And I guess that's where therapists would come in handy. It's because it's their job to listen. But but I, I'm kind of the person where... Damn, maybe I do need therapy. <laughs> Maybe, I, maybe I'll try it, man. It, it's one of those things, I, I guess maybe I'm too proud. And and I, and I don't want to be, I, I want to be able to, you know, be able to sit at home, think, pray, read my Bible, you know, talk to God and really get to the bottom of it. Because that's what's been working for me so far. But maybe I just need like additional, not help, but an additional outlet. Maybe I just need an additional like push. You know what I mean? Maybe I just need somebody to force me to sit down in this room. Maybe it's not a therapist. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's it, it, it's it's God even more. I don't know what it is just yet, but it's got to be something, and it's going to be something. And it's, this video is just me rambling for however fucking long I want to talk about it. If y'all don't care, don't watch the video, please. If you're If you didn't care, you're probably not even here at this point, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But this isn't for the views. This isn't for viewer retention. This isn't for my watch hours. This isn't for any of that. This is literally for me. So for me to look back on this video a day from now, a month from now, maybe a year from now. And, and wonder if I figured it out. <laughs> like It's one of those. I just want to see if I can do it. You know how oh, I fucked up. Uh, I don't know, man. Life is a life's a trip though. Like like life is very funny. And, and what I mean by that is life has a way of I don't and I don't know how many of y'all believe in God or what religion y'all practice and I'm not here to preach, bro. I'm that that's one thing that I won't do. My preaching is connecting with y'all. I don't want to force y'all to believe anything, but when I was growing up I wanted to be a pastor. This is my way of doing that now. Uh, it's just my way of talking. I just want to. I just want to spread a message. You know what I mean? And my message is this, bro. I don't give a fuck who you are, where you're at socially on the social ladder, on the economic ladder, on the political ladder, whatever. I don't care. I don't care who you are. You, you got some shit going on, bro. You first, you got to be willing to admit to yourself that you got some shit going on. Once you get to that point and you can admit that that you got a problem, we got to make steps to like figuring that shit out ASAP. And, and I'm in my figure my shit out stage. So if the YouTube videos don't come frequently, bro, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. If that if that makes sense, I don't want y'all to feel like I don't give a fuck about y'all because I, I, I appreciate all the fucking the positive messages y'all leave in the comments i'm i'm appreciative of the 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 small fan base that y'all have given me and it's not small we really think about it 400 people plus is a lot of fucking people i don't know 400 people you know what i mean so and i do now to a degree i, I know there's 400 people here that that watch my shit and 
you know, I, I'm appreciative of all of y'all. And, you know, I, I'm grateful for every, for every small blessing that I've been given, bro. The fact that I was able to move out on my own, the fact that I haven't struggled for the past, you know, four months, that's a blessing in itself. I'm blessed to have a, a decent paying job because most people don't get paid what I get paid. And I'm not saying I'm rich and I'm because I'm definitely not rich and I'm not saying I'm comfortable because I'm definitely not comfortable, but I'm surviving and I don't need anything. I don't I don't want for anything. You know what I mean? And and, I, and I'm and I'm extremely grateful to have that luxury because a lot of people don't just sometimes, bro. You get in your head and all that stuff's not enough. And you kind of just need to remind yourself that it is enough. And that whatever you're dealing with, there's somebody out there dealing with way worse. And if you made it this far, bro, you can make it further. And I've never been one to be to be depressed or, or suicidal. I know people that have been. I've lost people uh, to things like that. And, and I look at things like this, and there's no disrespect to anybody who's dealing with depression or or suicide or anything like that or suicidal thoughts. It's not in a disrespectful way. It's strictly for me. If I know in my heart that I can't take myself out, you know what I mean, that I would never do it, that I could never do it, if I know that in my heart to be true, then I'm not about to let some fucking feelings take me out you know what i'm saying like i'm not about to die of no broken heart i'm not about to die of of sadness i'm not about to die of loneliness i'm not about to to cry myself into a state of of not wanting to be here anymore and and if y'all feel like that bro i don't care bro i don't care if i don't know you i don't care if you don't know me i don't care if you're not you're not sure if i'm gonna listen bro talk to me bro talk to me hit me up in my social medias hit me up in the comments you know, do whatever. Like, like uh, that's what humans is here for. That's what we here for. That's what this channel is for. That's what I. That's what I want. I want us to be able to talk about the hard shit. You know, it, it could be it could be fun and games and 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 laughs and jokes and and bullshit all day every day. But it can also get serious. It can be all of those. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to whoever the fuck. <laughs> Watch me play Overwatch for 20 minutes and talk about my bullshit. But, you know, I just haven't been, I just haven't been in the mood. And I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to post it as is. And if I'm bullshitting, then I'm bullshitting. And it is what it is, bro. Just know that, like, I'll be fine. I'm doing better. I'm doing better by the day, by the hour, honestly. Um, I'm gonna try to, to get the video out. I'm gonna try to, you know, have more motivation. I just got to find it. I just got to find whatever it is. When I get, when you get into these depressing moments, bro, I, I look at it like this. When you're depressed or you're sad or you're down on your luck or whatever, it's just a sign that you yourself are looking for something, right? And if you're looking for something, you just gotta go find it. And that, and whatever that is that I that I'm looking for that I don't know about yet, or whatever it is that God's got for me that I'm not picking up yet, like I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna pray on it. I'm gonna for sure read my Bible. I'm gonna for sure take my time and you know sit with myself, collect my thoughts, which is part of like partly what this is. It's just me. I, I just want to speak it. I want to speak it into existence. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to write it down and make it plain, as my mom would say. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not I'm not I'm not like I'm not crying. I'm not hurting. I'm not uh, like I said, I'm not depressed. I'm not, you know, any of those negative things. I'm just I'm just I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just here. And. I'm okay, and I just got some things with me that I want to work on. You know what I mean? And until I can, until I can work on those things, and until those things can get realized fully, this YouTube shit just gonna take a little backseat. It's gonna take a backseat. I'm gonna, 
there's going to be moments where I really want to record some shit. And in those moments, trust and believe I'm going to record some shit. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to post it. Uh, I have some some great ideas. Like, that's the thing about these ruts. I may not be motivated to do them, but shit just pops up up here, bro. I got, like, movie reviews that I want to do because there were some movies that just came out recently that I saw. And I and I got some shit to say. Uh, there's definitely going to be more reaction stuff coming out. I'm definitely going to get started on those character bios for Total Drama because we're getting down to, like, the final four. And I for sure want to get started on that before the final four. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely ideas running. There's definitely uh, creative juices flowing. It's just the motivation right now. It's not there. And if the motivation isn't there, I don't want to do it. I don't want to half-ass anything that I do. I don't want to. I don't want to rush anything that I do. And I have, and I and I immensely hate it as soon as I do it. But you know, sometimes you you got to do what you got to do. And I was in a I was in grind mode. So when y'all seen some videos coming out daily or like damn near daily, and and it was constantly being posted, and some shit was a little. You you kind of rush that, but if it's like that, bro, I'm just in the I'm in a mode, but I'm in flow state. But for the most part, I don't want to be like that. I want to take my time with things. I want to make sure that my, you know, my heart and my spirit is put into everything that I do, regardless of how simple or easy or whatever. I, I just want to make sure that my heart is in it. And right now, my heart is in it, but my soul ain't in it. You know what I mean? It, it, the the passion is there, but the drive isn't. And I got to find that drive. And I, and I didn't realize that until today when I woke up and I literally told myself, I don't want to edit that video today. I'll do it tomorrow. And the minute I said that, I was like, okay, hold up. Let's maybe not even do it tomorrow. Let's maybe push it out till the weekend. Let's maybe push it out till next week. Let's maybe just, just take some time for ourselves. And, and, and I have to remind myself that this isn't necessary. And as much as y'all are entertained by it, and as much as I love entertaining y'all, and as much as I love that y'all are entertained by it, I have to remember that like YouTube will always be here, at least for the immediate future. I, I have time, you know what I mean? I don't have time to postpone being okay and figuring out my life. I can't live forever, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I can't live down forever. Like I gotta, I gotta get back up. I gotta re-energize, re-motivate, recalibrate, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta readjust. And until I do that, I just want to take my time for a minute. I hope y'all, I, I know y'all understand, and I know y'all have understood. And this video is kind of pointless in that regard. <laughs> I just don't want to leave y'all in the dark. I hate, I hate coming back and explaining shit. And although that's kind of what I'm doing, because I'm not going to be gone for a long time. I'm just going to be gone for, you know, a few days, a few more days or whatever. Uh... But, you know, yeah, I, I, I probably here's what I'll do. I will for sure. I'm not going to give a specific day in terms of like it, it'll be out today or it'll be out tomorrow or whatever, because I, I know I did that earlier, but I don't want to lie. I will make it a priority to get the next video up by the weekend. So so Sunday by the latest. The next video, the next Total Drama episode will be up. After that, it just is what it is. I'm going to be completely upfront with y'all. And, and Saturday, Sunday, I might just get random motivation to, to edit, post, and then just record, and then edit, post. But there's a lot that I want to do, and I've been postponing it, and I've been pushing it back, and I've been lacking motivation. I've been kind of forcing a lack of motivation, and, and that's where the problem started. So this week is going to be my week to like not only get the creative juices flowing, not only get the ideas up here right, but to actually put things forward and to actually start. And I just hope y'all come with me. 
know what I'm saying? And if nobody comes with me, then it'll, I'll be a one man army in this bitch. I don't care if I if my views go back to zero for a minute, and and I'm posting to the ether. I don't I don't, I don't care. I'm I'm doing me. You know what I mean? And like I said, bro, if y'all ever got any issues, y'all ever want to talk, bro, just put a little comment. Send me a little DM on Twitter or something. I'm I'm checking that shit every day, even if no one's messaging me. So like, y'all go ahead and put something in there. If y'all want to be open in the comments, we can talk about the shit in the comments, bro. It it's it's not it's nothing to be honest about yourself. And don't ever feel like you gotta be scared of being just if motherfuckers come in this in, in my comment section. Y'all can say whatever y'all want in this comment section in terms of like being vulnerable and being open and honest. If anybody comes with some disrespectful, hateful shit, trust and believe that shit is getting removed ASAP because I see every comment that pops up. I see every single one. That shit will be removed. And 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 whatever bullshit they talking about, that ain't the truth. Let, let's keep it all the way a stack, bro. It's not the truth. And I'm going to tell you personally what the truth is. And we'll just leave it there. It's been 30 minutes. Sorry that I put y'all through this shit. (laughs) Uh, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.